Hi, I'm Mike O'Hearn. I'm coming to you from the Hydroflex production area. In this video, we're gonna help you get the most of your hydro excavation nozzles by following these simple do's and don'ts. Welcome to the Industrial Insider. These easy best practices will help you use your nozzles more efficiently and extend their life to save you time and money. Remember, these nozzles are designed to let the water do the work for you. And if operated properly, you'll extend the life of the tool. Here are the four things you should be doing every time you use one of our nozzles to extend the life and get the best performance. Number one, use a good water source. A nozzle is only as good as the water it sprays or shoots. So make sure you're starting with a good water source. That will result in the best possible performance from the nozzle and prevent buildup. Number two, make sure your filters are clean. Our nozzle filter or inlet screens protect the nozzles from contaminants. Be sure they're clean so they can do their job and keep your nozzles safe and clean. Even the smallest grain of sand can cause an issue. Regularly inspect, clean, and replace the filters. We sell 10 packs for each of our nozzles so you can always have plenty on hand. Number three, rinse each nozzle at the end of each day. A clean nozzle is a happy nozzle and a happy nozzle continues to perform day after day. Rinsing it clean will prevent debris and buildup and ensure you start each day with a nozzle that's clean, fresh, and ready to work. And number four, run each nozzle with the operating pressure range and the right temperature. Each nozzle is engineered for specific use and using them in the right way maximizes performance. Also, improper use could seriously damage the nozzle and voids the warranty. Make sure your temperature of your water is dialed into the right range and be sure you're using the nozzle with the right operating pressure range. It might be tempting to dial up the heat or the power, but trust me, it's not worth it. Here are four common mistakes that you should avoid doing to protect and get the most out of your nozzle. Number one, don't enter it into the slurry. I know it's tempting to push the nozzle down into the surface and try to dig faster, but this can jam up or even damage the nozzle. It won't help you finish the job any quicker, and in fact, it could end up taking a lot longer if you need to repair or replace your nozzle. Stay at least eight inches above the surface to get the most out of your nozzle and keep it safe. Number two, don't beat it on the rocks. When your nozzle gets dirty, it seems like an easy fix to tap it on the rocks to knock out the extra mud and dirt off, but please don't do this. You don't want a crack cover or broken internal components. Instead, wipe the nozzle clean and take good care of it. Your nozzle will appreciate it. Number three, don't lean on it. I get it, you're out there working long hours and your nozzle and lance seem ideal to prop you up during a break. But we've already discussed why you shouldn't push the nozzle into the ground. And putting even a little weight on it can mean bad things for your nozzle. Instead, take a seat, you've earned it. Number four, don't leave it unattended leaning in the hole. Another tempting idea during a break is just to leave the nozzle down in the hole you're digging. But please don't. Pull it out, make sure it's safely stored in a clean spot that is as dry as possible. Down in the hole, the nozzle can take on water and other substances that can result in both short and long-term damage. While you're enjoying a break, make sure your hardworking nozzle gets to relax in a nice location too. There you have it. Eight simple tips that help you get the most out of your nozzles. Improve your efficiency and help your bottom line. Plus, your nozzles will thank you. For more information on our hydro excavation nozzles, contact Hydroflex today. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more industry tips and tricks and to learn more about the ripsaw switchblade and machete. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.